Dun. What's going on today, guys? Epic Snack Time here, getting back in another episode of Kerbal Space Program on this beautiful morning, it would seem. Uh, let's see, we don't have any current contracts, so it looks like uh, after the last one, I kind of did a little sped up version, uh, trying to collect some science. Um, and this one may be similar, but I'm going to try to keep it down because I actually do want to do some stuff. Um, I do, let's see, is there anything that we can do? at uh, landed at Kerbin, so I can do that. Flight above, flight above, surveys I absolutely do not like. They are annoying. And uh, let's see, that's a flight above, that's flight above, so let me actually just go and do this one, which is the swivel engine landed at Kerbin. And there we go. And if you haven't seen the, the video before this one that is a little bit more sped up, um, then I will definitely put it up here uh, in the sidebar there. Um, and so if you just want to pay attention to that, if you want to see it, you can. If not, that's fine. It's just kind of a sped up version of me trying to collect some science since I did reset the game to uh, patch 1.2. So let me turn all that off. I can put a shroud on it. That's interesting. Okay. Um, all we will no, we don't really care to override it because the that one's not that necessary. So let's get out here. And if you may notice my UI scaling, I had to scale it down a little bit, at least this part and over here, um, just to kind of make it more easy for me because most of the time the stuff was like too ginormous and now it is quite nice we will do an EVA report because apparently we didn't do that the last time board and now recover so we got a little bit of science from that so that's not too bad science is always helpful 2.4 we got 18 total science we did complete the contract so Let's toss that. What do we need for these levels? We need 45 for that. I think 45 for everything, correct? Yes. So, let's see. Do we have anything else? Test the solid fuel booster at the launch site. We can test the Rocco Max brand coupler splashdown at curb. And on. let's do. Let's see, I kind of want to do the liquid terror engine, so I will do both of those. I don't know if I'll, I actually might be able to do them both at the same time. Let me see. So I will take the thumper is what one of them is, I do believe, right? Is that what that contract said? Uh, no, the flea. So that's the little bitty one. So I will toss that on there. We'll take everything out of it. And then we can just pop a terrier on there at the bottom. So both of those will go off at the same time and hopefully complete both contracts. Since we are still landed, it shouldn't be too bad. And we will wait for just a second. There's Jeb. And we hit to go. Test everything. Make sure all the valves open up and all the engines are running good. And that should be it for that. Don't really necessarily need to get out that time since we did the EVA on the last one. And so we got back all the funds for that. No reputation, no experience. So let's see what else can we do. We can escape the atmosphere. I actually do want to take that. And then I can take the heat shield test because I do believe I should be able to do that. Uh, and it's landed at Kerbin, so that's the easy part. Um, and let's go ahead and toss a heat shield there. And then we will get the coupling stack decoupler there, because that's all that we're going to be bringing back. So utility, we will get that there. And I think... It is nice to just be able to maneuver a tiny, tiny bit 
out in space. Which we, yeah, I guess we might need that. Um, let me go ahead and toss another stack decoupler there. And then I will grab a hammer here. And then I want to do one more thing. Let's see. Uh, I do want to add. Do I want to add them up here? Nah, I guess I'll just add them on either side of this. Put them closer towards the bottom. And we will grab. Can I put a toss of flea on there? Yeah, I can. I don't know what's going on with the lights in this place, but anywho. Uh, and we'll grab some aerodynamic nose cones for that. And so that will launch. Uh, which that should be okay. But uh, yeah. That should be alright. So that'll start once those break off. Then that, then that. Uh, these two I need to switch around. So let's see. Atmo. Atmo test. Ooh, if I could spell today. There we go. And let's see who is piloting this one. We do have our pilot, Jeb. Uh, which, yeah, I guess I will leave him on there. Uh, no, no, actually. I want to switch out to Valentina because I would like somebody brand new to possibly go into space. At least she'll get a little experience for coming off of the surface of Kerbin. So that will be grand. Let's go in here. We don't really need and don't necessarily need SAS either, but we will lift off here. And I don't think I can take a crew. Well, yeah. I'm flying over the curving shores. Okay. Sure. I will accept that. I do want to try the tiny little tip over here. Not much. Not much at all. And now this one will... Oh, I should have put fins on it. That's one thing I forgot. So if it does come down to it toppling over a little bit, I will go in and put some fins on it. It just makes it a little bit more stable. And I don't really know if we will make it out to space. But we are certainly going to try. And because we're almost, we're about a quarter tank there. Yeah, I doubt we're going to make it anywhere near space. But at least she does get some experience for flying. And that engine's fixing to cut off there. And I will go ahead and launch that one and try to get us a little bit more sideways motion. That way we're not s blasting back through the... Okay. We can decouple that. Flip around here. And how high did we get? Oh, we actually will we'll peek out of the, the atmosphere a little bit. That is awesome. We did break a couple of records. Can I take another crew report? No. Um, let me try one thing. I'm going to quick save. And I know that we are... Oh, no, I can't. Never mind. I was going to say I'm going to try and... See if I can EVA, but I cannot. So I'll leave it setting right up there. And I wish that I could... I can turn the lights on, which is nifty. Just a little window light, not too much. So I'll turn that back off for a second. We will speed it up here just till we break out of the atmosphere. And there we are. We are in space, technically. Uh, we have reached space, we have broken an altitude of 70k, and now we have to come back. Achievement, goal, good. I uh, can't take another crew report. Uh, I wonder if I quick save here, 
hop back to the Space Center very, very quickly. And upgrade this. Then go back to my spaceship. I will fly that. And we will get Valentina a little bit more experience. Because now she can EVA. EVA report. Take that. And we are toppling over. Take data. Store experiments. Crew report. Oh, no. Board. Now crew report. Yeah, there we go. That's a little better. Okay, now let's flip around to the right orientation. And we will just wait to climb back down there. Now I need to get back in line with my retrograde marker. Which, if uh, any of y'all are new to this series or new to this game at all, um, there's the two main markers that you start off with are the retrograde, which is which end your butt is facing, and the prograde, which is which end or which direction you are facing in or which direction you are going in. So let's fast forward through here a little bit. I actually don't know if we're going to land how I would prefer to land because we are not burning off enough speed whatsoever. Like we're just now hitting some thick atmosphere. Oh no, we might. It's slowing us down relatively quickly. So yeah, we'll be fine. I'll wait till about 5k or 5, yeah, 5k or 5 kilometers. I guess it would be 5,000 meters. There we go. That's what I meant to say. And then we will warp down until we land, actually until around a thousand. Don't really want to have the warp going while the parachute is opening because it can cause it to rip off. So don't really want to do that. I do want Valentina to come back with us. Oh, and then we'll do four times warp down to the landing. And almost there, 50 meters. And almost there we go, touchdown. And now our other contract was, well, it's to test it landed at Kerbin, but I wonder if I can run a test. No, okay, so that doesn't work that way. Uh, let's see, can I do another crew report from here? No, I don't want to do that just yet. I guess we can do a little EVA. This will be fun. EVA from the water, which we are fine with. We can take the data, store the data, board. Now do a crew report from the water, which we've already got, so I was just making sure. And recover the vessel. Got a bit of science, bit of experience for Valentina. We got 61 science total now. We got 24.5 experience or er, science from that. Uh, our funds got back, our recovered parts at least, for the most part. And she got one experience, which is fantastic. Now, we can take our 61 experience, and let's see, should we get... I would like the liquid fuel terrier, or the, yeah, the liquid fuel engine. General construction, aviation, I'm not too worried about currently. Um... Let's see, that gives us the batteries, which are nice, and the new experiment storage unit. Oh, that's where the, the high gain antenna comes from. Okay. Well, we know that we can get in to space. We know how to do that. So I'm actually going to take the advanced rocketry and see is there, yep, there is a mission to orbit Kerbin. And I want to do one thing really fast whilst, or before I go into the orbit of Kerbin. I will take the heat shield there, take it out to the launch site, because it just says we have to be landed, and technically we are landed on the launch site. 
And we will run a test there. Make sure everything is going to ablate correctly. And recover the vessel. Easy peasy. And so next, no experience there. Uh, we didn't get any extra science. Actually, yeah, we did get a tick of science. That's interesting. Uh, let's see. Can test that at a flight above. That's a little tricky, especially coming in at that speed is a little odd. Uh, the radio mounted, that would be more likely. Um, I'm not really going to worry about that one right now. The swivel, I will actually test that in this one. So let me go over here. And this little base model is fine. And I will just take a parachute there. So I've got orbit carbon and to test a liquid fuel engine at the launch site. So I will take a, actually, no, I want the stack decoupler first because I don't really want to bring a whole lot home. But I do want to see, science-wise, we don't have much in, this, in the means of science anyways. Uh, but we can toss a payload thing on here. Let's flip it around there. And since this will be our first time in to space, I'll bring a press map barometer, a goo canister, and actually I kind of want to double up on those. Those are fairly cheap. And two two hot thermometers. Uh, let me flip them around this way. And then we close the door. That little service bay is rather handy. It is kind of heavy, so I may go ahead and toss two radial mounted parachutes onto the sides here. And I'll put them right about, uh, right about there. This should work. I'll keep us, uh, we may end up toppling over just because of where they're at, but it should be okay. And fuel, we'll get the engines, we'll get a terrier here. And then we will do some more coupling, we'll get another stack decoupler there. And back it up a little bit so we can see the whole ship. Fuel tanks, we just unlocked the, what is it, the FLT400, so we'll get one of those. Copy it down to there. That should be just fine. And we will do two stack decouplers. Or not stack decouplers, these are radial mounted. So two radial decouplers. And I think, should we do these two? I think that's not a bad idea. And then we'll toss a, not reliant, a swivel engine on to there which we will run the test on. Uh, I don't really like that per se, so we'll scrap that. We'll grab one of our T400s. We'll stack it r about right up where it is, and then we'll toss two of the, I think they're T200, yeah, the T200s on the side. I'll actually put the swivels, no, I actually do want the one swivel, I want the reliance on the side, and then we will go to aerodynamics, get us a nose cone here, and it's important to kind of keep the, de or the decouplers over at the top, because sometimes they like to move around, and if you have them up there whenever they boost, they may swing out a little bit, but they won't affect a whole whole lot. Okay, so we are actually overweight. Let me see, can I put these two on there? Yes, I can. Uh, we are just about there. Can I toss two Reliance on it? Yes, I can. Okay, so that I believe is the most that we can do. Let me see if I can toss some winglets on here. I'm hoping so. I do like a little bit of control. 
Okay, perfect. Now, we will name this Orbiter Mark 1. Check our stages. Let's see, if that goes, then that goes, then they go. Uh, no, I actually want that to be down there because I want these to burn, then this whole middle stage, and then that to kind of help us orbit or get us into an, a, prop, a proper orbit. Save that. Let's see who is our pilot. We do have Jeb. Yeah, that'll be fine. Jeb's cool. Jeb will work out nicely. And we'll, we'll try to get ourselves into a decent orbit. We'll turn on SAS, full throttle. And just igniting this should get that first contract to test the swivel. Okay, it didn't that time. So they may have changed a few things uh, between version 1.1, 1 .1, I do believe, and 1.2. Because usually you can... T oh, it's because I didn't fire those. Actually, here, in that case, we will revert to launch just so I can get this contract done. Try to get both of them done at the same time. Uh, can I run a we'll turn the thrust limiter down run test turn the thrust limiter up turn that on ignite everything else and then I guess we'll just have to deal with it as it is we'll turn everything down way low we'll actually turn this thrust limiter way down and these to about half Whoa. Okay. That was a fail. And with that case, I am actually going to revert to the vehicle assembly and change one tiny thing, which you may actually already know what I'm going to change. I'm going to take off these two Reliant engines, and then I will copy the swivels to each of the sides. There. So now those will go. That I want to be up here. Actually, I want it to be in this one with the decouplers for the two sides. So the two sides go, then they decouple, then the middle stage, then that, then the little terrier, then we should be good. We'll save that. That was an epic fail. <laughs> but you learn from your mistakes. You get to you kind of get the idea of what you got to do. So now, yep, there we go. That contract is completed. We will go ahead and boost those up to full power. And back it down just a hair. Because they are going rather quickly. And I'll take it back down right below 50%. And I'll start to tip just a hair, not much, just a little bit to kind of start us in the correct direction. We don't have full SAS yet, so it's just kind of following the, it's just stability assist at this point, just trying to keep it in the general direction that we're going and not flipping all over the place. So these are fixing to run out. Which got us a good way up to where we need to be. I can actually bring that down just a hair. And I do kind of like the ascent profile that we're going for. I will kick it back up to 50%. That should be a fair amount of boost. Let's get this flipped around here. And not bad. But I don't know if with this little setup that we have, if we will actually make it to space or not. I'm hoping. Always hoping. But let's tilt it down just a hair more. Because at 15, you kind of want to be at a 45 degree angle or at best around 45. And I may go ahead... And let's see, that's what that is. Let me boost it all the way up to 100%. Kind 
because I want to be able to get into space, at least crested into it so we can kind of see how this little terrier is going to do. And are we going to make it? I hope so because that terrier kind of sucks in atmosphere. Yes. We are going to make it. We do have a little bit of fuel left too, which is going to be absolutely handy. Can we do another crew report? Yes, we can. Because we are in the upper atmosphere. That's right. This darker blue is upper, and then from there up is upper atmosphere for the most part. I'm just going to tip us over here just a tad. We will breach the space marker, I guess, here shortly. Let me just put it right there at the equator for the most part. And let's boost up just a hair. And should hear our space music turn on right. Uh, let's see. Just here in a second. There we go. Beautiful space music. We'll boost that out to 100% until we are ready to stage. We are staging. Cut the engine off, but we will have it ready. And now let's circularize a little bit. As much as we can, at least. I don't know if we're actually going to be able to. It's draining quite quickly. So we might not be able to fully circularize as well as we would hope. But we can always try. See, so we're about, yeah, because, I mean, we're about halfway through our fuel anyways. And at least the Apo's staying where it's supposed to. As long as it's above 70, then you're pretty much fine. You're going to stay in space. But I don't think we will totally be able to complete our circularization. We might. But I highly doubt it. Oh, so, so close. So close it's almost frustrating because, okay, we did get a periapsis that's at 7,000, which we're going to come back into the sphere of influence anyways, uh, or we're going to come back into the atmosphere anyways. Uh, actually, we're already back in the atmosphere. Um, but we were so close. So I wonder if I had a T400, if I could actually get to that. I don't know for sure. And I should have been checking these. But I will go ahead and log all this so we can get some pressure and some temperature readings. Keep all that. I will close the doors for now, and then in, actually, I want to open them back up for a second. Let me get this. I'll pin that over here, and the temperature over there, and I'll pin that right there, and then we will close the door, because we will be entering decent atmosphere here in just a second click off of that. We've already gotten our E, or not our EVA, but our uh, crew report from high atmosphere, or upper atmosphere, I guess it would be. And we're coming in decently, and especially with how that was just over like a thousand, it makes it, whew, excuse me, it makes it so that our entry is kind of at a serious angle and it's just kind of grazing the atmosphere and it's going to bleed off a ton of speed so i'm not really worried about the ablator it's going to do its job just fine we did complete that mission we didn't complete the mission to orbit carbon unfortunately but once we land i think uh actually call it there for today see what kind of science bits that we can get and let's see can we do anything here log temperature upper atmosphere um 
Now let me recycle that for a second. What? Review report. So this is upper atmosphere. Okay, so we've only got the crew report. Okay. Sure. I will... I actually kind of want to wait until we get closer to landing. But... I may speed this up just a hair. Let's see. Maybe we will just let it coast back in. And you can kind of see that apoapsis is coming down, which it doesn't matter because we're going to land probably right over here. And we're more than likely going to land in the water, but... <clears throat> see once we get down a little bit more I don't want to speed it up too much because the fabled space kraken may rip our ship apart and that's never fun and there's a bit of our ship huh we've already caught back up with part of our ship unless that's the part that we kind of ditched on the way over here which is entirely possible we'll go up to three times for just a second Kind of two times seems to be okay. But I will go ahead and quick save just in case anything weird or crazy goes on. And once we peek down under the light blue here, or the lighter blue, we are hitting serious atmosphere. So that is awesome. We will observe the goo and the temperature. No. Uh, Point four not sure. I'll keep that, and then I'll keep the temperature for whenever we actually do land. I can speed it up to four times now that we are significantly falling. Turn off SAS for the most part, and wait till we get about 5,000. Did we land close to KSC? Yeah, we did. I'm pretty sure it's like, no, maybe not. It might be over there. I don't know, though. That kind of looks like the coast that it sets on. Or it might be over there. There's mountains. Ooh, lord, we came super close to that one. A lot closer than I wanted. And this is flying over the grassland, so I will gladly take that. Uh, yeah, that's what I figured would happen. So now, hopefully... Oh, well, we're kind of coming down on our side, so that's not too bad. I can, however, whenever we get closer to the ground, I could cut these two. It may make us topple over just a tad. Or I can do this. Yeah, I think I'll just do this. Uh, the electric charge isn't necess like necessarily important right now. I do a crew report? Uh, no. So let me unspeed it up here. Do something kind of scary. I'll do a EVA report flying over the grasslands. We will take data, store data, board. Now we can do a crew report from the grasslands. It's a couple little odd and in experimental things that you can kind of do while you're playing uh kind of taking your experiments out putting them back in kind of doesn't per se reset the experiment so you don't lose it um but you are able to do it again in per se like a different biome like this is how we kind of had one in space so to speak and then we had one here so now we can recover the vessel go back to KSC and we have nearly 50 science that we gained from that got back a decent amount of funds no experience sorry on that part and from here now that everything costs 45 I am tempted to get the basic science because the basic science does unlock the science junior and this experimental storage unit so I don't have to take that, that service bay up every time. Um, I can. Um, and then everything goes into here. I think I don't know if there's a limit to how many things this can actually store. Um, 
but I think it and it even has a high crash tolerance. It's got 15 meters per second. So I will actually take that. And I think I'm going to call it there for today, guys. Uh, we didn't achieve our orbit goal, unfortunately. But let's see. Is there anything interesting that we can do uh, to begin the next one? I can test this. The thud. I may actually do that off camera. Not have to worry about it this time. Um, but if you've enjoyed this so far, then definitely leave a like. And if you want to see me try to get into space and try to fly around a bit, I'm not that great. Um, not nearly as good as some of the, the better YouTubers. Uh, Scott Manley, uh, I think it's Matt Lowe, um, Quill18 especially. Uh, one of the guys that is actually a definite supporter of my channel, Arctic. Uh, Arctic Cat 74 he does a couple of live streams once or twice a week um, and he's really good he kind of knows this thing so if y'all want to check him out as well I'll try to leave a link to his channel above and I will catch you guys in the next one